In this video, we'll see uh, the request manager view of a specimen based catalog. Uh, catalog overview. So uh, once the request manager logs into a uh, login into the open specimen, uh, they can see on the home page different cards. These are the cards that they have access to. So if a, a request manager has access to the catalog, it's necessary that they should have access to the data that is shown on into that catalog. And uh, if the specimens are stored to a certain container, access to that container so that when they distribute, uh, they will not face any issues. So let's navigate to the catalogs. So under the catalogs, you can see there are a list of catalogs here, which I have access to as a request manager. Uh, I will be using a specimen based catalog for a demo purpose. So once I click on the catalog, uh, I can see a different uh, details of the catalog on the overview page. Here I can edit, delete, view catalog or view request as well using this buttons. On the display page, you can see the title and the uh, rest of the details like what type of a query is used under the catalog, what is the catalog URL, whether it's a public catalog or a private catalog. And here you can see the request manager has been configured already. So this is the catalog overview. The next uh, part that we'll see is a view request. So research, when researchers put a different request under the catalog, uh, request manager can view those requests by using a view request option. So once you click on the view request, you can see there are uh, many requests here put by different researchers. So some are of them in pending status, some are of them in closed status because they are already distributed. Some are in the approved status. So whenever, uh, so this is how you can view the request Whenever researcher puts the uh, request uh, for specimens, a request manager receives the email notification. So if you could say this is the recent request that is put by a requester, hash 238, you will receive an email like this saying that the new request hash 238 has been put. And once you click on this view request option, you will get navigated to that request so that you can see the details of that request, the specimens that they have requested for. So let me just uh, open it in this tab. Okay. So yeah. So here you can see uh, the request. Uh, this is how the request page looks like. So here uh, you can perform a different action based on the requirement, whether you want to approve or reject the request. But before uh, moving further to approve and reject request, I would like to show uh, how to add a, and remove specimen using specimen labels and using specimen label barcodes. So why does specimen label addition and removal comes into the picture? Uh, let's say a researcher has put the request for certain samples. Here they have put the request for frozen tissue samples. But uh, due to any reason the specimen is not available anymore in the inventory, then you can replace that specimen with another specimen which satisfy the same conditions or uh, which satisfy the requirement uh, that the researcher has put. Uh, let's uh, to, so remove any sample. Uh, I can just select the sample by checking the checkbox and you can see the remove button gets enabled. So now the removal and addition can only take place as long as the request is in the pending status. Once you approve or reject the request, you cannot add or remove specimens anymore in that request. So let's go ahead and remove the specimen. So once I click on the remove, it will ask me for the confirmation whether you really want to remove the specimen. So let's say yes. So specimen has been removed from the request. Now that I have removed the specimen, I'll need to uh, replace it with some else specimen. So you can see the add specimen option here. And here you can paste the labels. Uh, you can uh, separate it by comma or add it as a new line. So let me just add a couple of let's say i want to add this sample so i pasted the label here and you can see the add option once i hit the add the, you can see the pop of the specimen is added to the request uh, you can see the specimen is already added to the request similarly if i want to use a barcode that can be done too so let's say add specimens but whenever i want to use a barcode i'll have to I have to make sure that I have selected the option that use specimen barcodes is ticked. So I have enabled it and I'll just put the barcode and I'll add the sample. So 
okay this sample is not found okay seems like this sample is not available in the uh, study let me just quickly find a sample with the barcode copy this barcode and i'll replace it here and let's just see use a specimen barcode now you can see the specimen is added to the request here you can see this is the description of that specimen that we have added okay again these all columns are configurable using query modules okay um, so this is how you add and remove any specimen by using labels and by using the barcodes next we'll see uh, actions performed on the request like editing approving or rejecting the request uh, or how to close a request basically so let's navigate back to the request so once you can once you are ready with the uh, details that you wish to approve or uh, approve you can see the approve button here let me just approve this request while approving you can see the approved by by request manager the approved on date and if you have any uh, specific comments you can add it as a comment here okay let me approving specimens for demo purpose okay and um uh, you can put the users uh, to which you want to send an email notification over here. I'll keep it as a blank as of now. So let's say I've approved it. So you can see the request has been approved. As soon as I approve this request, you can see under the specimens tab, the button of add specimen is not visible anymore. Neither if I select it, the remove option is not visible anymore. So once you approve the request, the option to add or remove the specimen is disabled and uh, since it is approved request now we can see the approval comments over here the status has changed from pending to approved similarly uh, the request manager gets the email notification that the request has been approved so if you can see the request hash 230 is it is already approved and with the details that who has approved it what is the date of the approval and the comments here okay uh, so if uh, in case by human error you have approved it by mistake you can reset it to the pending as well so you can see the reset to pending option here if i click on this it will ask me the why uh, i am doing this so approved by mistake so let's say reset okay once i reset it uh, to the pending i can see the reset comment has been updated here and for that as well, I'll receive an email that the hash 238 request status has changed to the pending again because it was approved by mistake. Similarly, for the reject, once you are rejecting, you can put all the details of the comments uh, and notifiers and you can reject a request. And if you have rejected by mistake, you can reset it to the pending. Let me just reset to the pending okay uh, you can download the reports i'll show you the uh, reports uh, in a while okay so this is how the approval reject uh, or rejection of the request has taken place okay you can edit the details of the forms as well uh, if there are any details missing under the uh, request form you can edit it uh, using the edit option over here and update if you have any details to that okay download reports i'll come back to uh, it in a further video so we just saw the email notifications of the actions performed on request that is approval reject request to pending etc uh, distribute versus distribute all okay so in here if you will see once i have let's say i am approving this request and if i go to the specimens i see the distribute all option over here but if i select any sample the distribute option gets enabled so the difference between distribute all and distribute is basically if you wish to distribute any certain specific sample you can select that sample and distribute if you wish to select all if you wish to distribute all the samples rather than selecting them one by one you can simply click on distribute all 
Once you click on distribute all, the specimen you will uh, get redirected to the orders page from where you can select the institute and site whether you will be distributing the samples further. So this is how the distribute was a distribute all function works. Uh, last uh, is the view orders. So I'll use one of the already distributed request. So if you can see this is to uh, 237 request which is already closed which is already approved and distributed. So if you can see this is the requester email address uh, approved by and the de uh, details of that uh, project and these are the specimens which are already distributed. So you can see the status of the sample which is already distributed. So from here uh, you can download the report which will look like this. So under which uh, under this report, you can see the details uh, that you a researcher has filled under the request form. These are the couple of fields that you can see put by the uh, researcher and uh, who has approved the request. When did the approval uh, happen? These all details are uh, covered under the report. Apart from that, the specimen details are also shown. Whatever you uh, details that you see on this page are again displayed uh, in the report. Uh, what is the sample, uh, whether it's a distributed or not, uh, which study does it belongs to, these all details. Okay, uh, and here you can view orders by just clicking on the order. So on the orders page, you will uh, get to see which order is created while distribution uh, distributing the sample. So this is the order detail that you can view on this page.